So, brother, first of all, uh, we always, always an honor. We grateful and thankful for any time that you lend to us. And, no, no, that's fine. If you got to, trust me. If you got to do, you got to do better than that. That's that's no oh, worry. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're definitely honored and we're grateful. Um, it's, it's important for us, as I was mentioning, it's important for us uh, to uh, highlight, you know, this here for us being uh, members of the Muhammad Muslim of 15 and even more so the influence, the inspiration, the guidance, and all of what you have given both of us. We both have individual you know, accounts that we share with one another, how it's been impactful for us in our lives, even up to the point of us making the decision to actually move to Africa. So it will be, we will be remiss if we did not take this moment and, uh, you know, be able to allow you to, 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 you know, share with us some things that uh, will continue to help us along the way. First, thank you very much for yes, allowing me to say a few words. I want to let you know how much we love you. My yes, family loves you all. I mean, I'm, I'm sad that you all are leaving, but I'm glad too. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> yes, sir. Because for you all to go to Africa for a new adventure, those are people over there. Yes, sir. And for you all to be willing to go and then take this teaching that Al Blue Farkham has given us without the Al Mahana, it's a blessing. Yes, sir. Because our people need it all over the world. Yes, sir. So I'm saying to you all, don't go and lose yourself. Yes, sir. Not yes, that that's what you're going to do. Right. Whatever you said, let you know. Yes, sir. I just want to remind you. Yes, sir. Don't go and lose yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go and be yourself. Yes, sir. Remember those words, Yes, sir. Go I and be yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. Hold on to the handle of a lot, no matter what. Remember, I'm going to lose fire. Here's the mouthpiece of a lot God. In our midst. Yes, sir. Not only in America, but in Africa too. Yes, sir. You know that, okay? Yes, sir. So you all go and you all have the teaching in this world. And whatever I can do personally to help you all, I'm willing. Yes, sir. And I'm so glad that you're going over with the entrepreneurship. You know, you're going to go and open up a business and then you're going to take the teaching and spread it. Yes, sir. So I'm here for you for whatever I can do to help. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And um, we didn't. We wanted to make an announcement of what you asked us to do, but for you to explain what that means. Okay. Because we haven't said anything to anybody yet. Right. As you in your journey. Yes, sir. You got to take the ten thousand feelings with you when you go. <laughs> I love for us to have it on the African soil. Yes, sir. But like you say, you talk to the government, you already know, make sure everything's legal and have no problem. Yes, sir. But the minister work to go over and make wherever we go be some safe place to live. So, conflict resolution. Everything that the minister has given us here, we need it over there. Yes, sir. But just take it over with respect. Yes, sir. Of the government so forth. Yes, sir. And I can't wait for, to see you and that sign is raised over there on the African soil. <laughs> Ten thousand. Is it fit right in or whatever? Just the, the, the women up in there. Yes, yes, yes. yes sir. They've already done that, and what the things that you have done here, as far as the GED program, the reading, the um, life skills, they—that's what they need over there. That's what they need over there. Their whole land is based on atonement because of their past history. Right. So they actually have in the villages. The communities that were, let's just say, Bloods and Crips, they had the, t- the Tutsis and the Hutus. Hutu, Hutu, right, Hutu, right. and, and once the president was able to start building the country up, he had their children all move into the same land together mm. and do an atonement process. Mm. And so they're there in the villages. They're going through this healing process. There's a lot of GM, G and Lopes over there now. Um, that, did I say GMO? Yeah. NGOs. <laughs> NGOs that are there helping with the atonement process. But now we can come in and offer them education, tutoring. I, we forgot to tell you, there's another sister and brother that's coming up from Dallas. She's a, she's a teacher. She taught here. Uh, sister Jean, she wants to come over there as well. And she wanted to help with the educational process. So when I mentioned to her that you wanted to, she, they started crying. Literally? She was like, oh my God, this is, you know, this, this is... 
a lot because <laughs> it's going to fit right in with what we were just talking about the day previous before you mentioned it to us. So this will give us the opportunity to be able to actually go into the villages and teach them basic life skills. English, a lot of them, English they're trying to make is the primary language. So, but in the villages they don't get that education. So we can do that under the 10,000 fairs, give them that even though um, we have a, a one. Of, he has a little buddy over there that calls. He's like 14. Four, yeah, yeah, oh, share, share, brother, 14, share the story. 14, 14. Your young brother, 14, uh, and, 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 and met this young brother uh, when I went on like a photo tour. It's a photographer that's over there uh, who's really good, excellent photographer. Young brother too. And long story short, he wanted to take me, which I'm glad he did, on the tour. He wanted me to take me to. One of the villages, and this particular village is the village that he actually grew up in. And um, needless to say, it's a village, so it's, it's, it's low income. It's not like the rest of the city. Um, but the love and the, 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 I'll put it like this, the same that we often say, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. You got that whole vibe, feeling, and, and, and the whole experience. And the reason, I say that because you know it, it was kind of it's kind of funny now looking back at it. When we were there taking pictures, I was taking pictures of the children and, and taking pictures of the you know people in the village. So there was a, a gentleman, an older gentleman, and he came out and he was not having it. He was not appreciative of that at all. Anyway, uh, he was considered the security of the village. So. The, 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 the brother that I was with, he and that gentleman, they were they was having it out, you know. But the brother was very respectful because that's a big thing, okay. He respect the fact he's an elder, so okay, all right. But he had to tell him, listen, you know, we're, uh, we're doing this for a good purpose. And their concern was that, and I respected that, their concern was that we were gonna take these pictures, me being from the States, and I would show the world that they were poor. Mm. And he said, people come and they do that and they do it to make money for themselves. Set up oh. Charities right. have money coming in and they don't really help. And them. they don't really help the people. So I was like, I, hey, I have all respect. I said, brother, I'll delete these pictures if that's what he wants because I respect that. This is your village. You protected the best interest. But I, I relate to that. This is, this is our training. This is where we come from. So... I have no problem. I mean, no disrespect at all. But in the interim, as they were talking, all the little children, oh, they were so beautiful, Brother Minister. And they came gathering around me. They were, I mean, they were little, mm -hmm. you know, and they were looking, uh, they were looking in my eyes with the purity of their innocence and they were jumping on my lap, you know. <laughs> it was like 15 of them around me. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do, you know, but just show them love. And the one, there was one young brother, he was 14 or 15 years old, and he came to me. And, you know, they, they have a, you know, Africa, they have a demeanor where maybe. Uh, they don't play they, as much as no, our children play. Mm -hmm. it, it appears as though they're, you know, they're being like aggressive, you know. So he comes to me, he says, So, what are you taking pictures for? I'm like, Oh, look at this young brother. <laughs> And I, I said, okay, so I, so I said, you know, I told him, I said, hey, you know, he said, oh, oh okay. He said, and this is, this is how I knew what the concern was, because he said, listen, they think that you're taking these pictures for what, what I mentioned as far as showing the people as poor and so forth and so on. And I told him, listen, brother, let me explain to you. I said, we same, same, brother. We won. Our people in America are wanting to come to connect with you as our brothers and sisters in Africa. I said, brother, I would never do that. In fact, I'm wanting to take these pictures so that I can go and I can show our people of your, their extended family here in Africa. And he, he loved it. He said, I said, what's your name, brother? He said, Isa. I said, oh, Isa, like Jesus. He said, yeah, like Jesus. He said, what's your name? I said, Muhammad. He said, oh, Muhammad Ali. I said, yeah, like Muhammad Ali. And so we connected. And so with when they got finished doing their thing, talking and everything clear, the young brother said, please let me have your contact information. He wanted to stay in contact with me. I said, I'll give it to you. I gave it to him. I didn't really think he would stay in touch. Come back to the States, 
morning. Every morning. Because there's six hours ahead every morning when he calls us. It's the afternoon for them, but it's I'm six o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to make your It's like, oh, get out. Like, like, hold on, man. man. I got to hit you in a minute. <laughs> yeah. But it's a beautiful thing, man. But to, to, I guess to my wife's point is that um, what it is that the 10,000 Feelers represents, you know, and our uh, honor to be able to help establishing that over there will be of a great, great help uh, for them. Uh, those, you know, of all walks of life that's over there, you know, and uh, it's an honor. It really, really is an honor, and uh, we're excited. Well, I'm excited, man, and I'm, we got to make sure we stay in contact. Yes, sir. Yes, and whatever we need to help send over, I want you to also just press it. When you get over there, find a house where I get my water over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. All of it. Yes, sir. Clean water. It's, it's, Indeed. It's a little different when you're dealing with produce and food and stuff with immigration. That just makes it hard. Like, we were trying to figure out how we'd be able to ship uh, coffee because they're known for their coffee being here. Mm -hmm. It's too much red tape. That's how you heard them. Yeah, that's, that's why they hurt because they can't do the export, export and import um, with, with all this red tape. And it's not them, it's us. It's us on this side. Yep. On this side. Well, you know, there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, we'll try to figure it out. Figure that thing out. Yes, sir. So we yeah. our brothers and sisters over there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, great, Paul. Well, I love you all. Y'all remember that. 10,000 feet. Men and women. Yes, sir. Thank God I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise you, Allah.